President Buhari don't open strategy for digital economy. And the Senate now they ask why Hyperdeck never still start work. ICIR don't ask Ogunge government to open register for people we don't lose for North East. And appeal courts now don't confirm Senate Governor Autumn now you win the governorship election for Benue State. Good afternoon, my country people. This is Nawazobia Max TV. And now, as it take happen, now we do on top. So, my name is Adati Owunkwe. For inside the first story where we carry come, President Muhammad Dubari now done direct ministries, departments, and agencies on Thursday for inside Abuja. Say, may they immediately obey government operations where BC they move to digital platform where them they do now. Where BC go help them now to work well. As they start the ceremony of the E Nigeria 2019 conference on top of Nigerian digital economy, President Muhammad Dubari can explain say, as they move to digital economy, now waiting MDAs must do. And as they do the e Government master plan to drive and guide the process. In Connie and say the other way they've been given for 2018, say make National Information Technology Development Agency put eye for all the ICT projects then we government put money on top. Say it saved Nigeria over 16.8 billion naira. We will all recall that in Nigeria 2018 conference, we directed that all government-funded ICT projects must be reviewed and cleared by National Information Technology Development Agency. Our goal was to enhance the efficiency and effectiveness of government procurement processes. Today, I am informed that through this directive, government has saved over 16 0.8 billion naira. I want to encourage the Ministry and National Information Technology Development Agency to sustain this tempo. Our recent introduction of the Nigerian e-government master plan will further consolidate our successes to date and increase interoperability among the different ministries departments and agencies of government. If say this one where we say them they do now for public services like the use of bank verification number that's na BVN, treasury single account that's one a TSA and integrated payroll and personal information system that one a IPPIS. Say it don't really help now the government to save costs and to fight corruption. President Buhari still here and say Nigeria must know the wahala where BC day on top of inside the digitalization, on top of national security, especially as it concerns the matter of SIM card where BC them no register with terrorists they use. And we shall probably come up from inside that to re-enter the next one. For inside the National Assembly, the Senate now don't get requests from President Muhammadu Buhari where they make them approve the federal government 2016 to 2018 borrowing plan. The letter where B said the date will be on top now 26 November 2019. Nine Senate President Ahmed Lawan read for Senate on Thursday. And as the matter be for inside the letter, President Buhari and said the eighth National Assembly approved only one part of the external borrowing request we then bring for September 2016. And according by him, this one now you can make the government now make them no put better projects for inside mining, power, health, agriculture water and educational sector. The outstanding projects in the plan that were not approved by the legislature are nevertheless critical to the delivery of the government policies and programs relating to power, mining, roads, agriculture, health, water and educational sectors. These outstanding projects are well advanced in terms of their preparation, consistent with the 2016 debt sustainability analysis undertaken by the Debt Management Office and were approved by the Federal Executive Council in August 2016 under the 2016 to 2018 External Borrowing Plan. I've also directed the Minister to make herself available to provide any additional information or clarification which you may require to facilitate prompt approval of the outstanding projects under this plan. While hoping that this request will receive the usual expeditious consideration by the Senate, Please accept the Sungui Senate President the assurances of my highest consideration. 
Yours sincerely, Muhammadu Buhari. And still on top of the matter, President Buhari sent another letter where he say he and about to company and allies matters bill 2019. Carry give National Assembly, may therefore put mouth and eye on top and still put them for law. And we come out from inside that to re enter the next one way we carry come. Still for inside Senate, Senate don't tell the federal government now. Say make them sharply form the Hydroelectric Power Producing Area Development Commission. That's na high patek at nine years after them put them for inside law. Them talk this one for Senate on Thursday on top of the matter. We Niger South Senator Mohammed Bima been carry come. We say time don't reach now for high patek to start. The seventh Senate and the House of Reps been passed the bill we go create the commission for 26th and 23rd June 2010. And President Goodluck come sign them for law for inside August 2010. The Senate recalls that the sum of 354 million 570 thousand 637 naira 247 million 500 thousand and 10 million 106 thousand 632 million were appropriated in 2011 were appropriated in 2011 2014 20, and 2015 budget respectively for the commission while nothing was allocated in 2012 2013 2016 2017 and 2018 budgets and the senate is disturbed that despite these allocations made the commission has not taken off and this has brought Enormous hardship of the people of the area. And I see the yarn on top of the matter to support the motion. Some senators now come the call for quick action to tackle the one where BC then set up hyper deck. Surprised that it has not taken off up to date. So I fully support this motion that something we must have to find out why that there is this um, attitude of ignoring something that has been passed by law in this chamber according to what we agreed with the federal government. The only part I will not act, uh, uh, is constitute an ad hoc committee. I do not think that you need an ad hoc committee because there is already a power committee whose mandate is also part of this. Um, is around, it should go to the power committee. I so submit. Little effort we make in farming, year in, year out, they, they live in fear when the rains come they know that all their efforts will be wiped away. Not only their farmlands, even their houses will be submerged. They are always dislocated. Mr. President, like I always introduce myself as representing the decent and good people of Kwara North. What I do mean is that all of us in Kwara North, we are decent and good people. Already, Niger State Government have done very well for Hyperdeck. They have, when the headquarters is going there, they have even given them an office. The president has signed this bill. Money has been appropriated. This money is domiciled somewhere, it's just sitting there. He was saying 600 and something million. From our investigation, there is close to about 2.3 billion of Hyperdeck money. In the office of the secretary to the government of the federation. So I will also maybe when we get there add another 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 uh, 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 instead of uh, referring this to the power committee or ad hoc committee, uh, I'm on a bit different view. In the spirit of a uh, new collaboration and cooperation with the executive, the leadership should take up this issue. Layers of the executive and they ensure that uh, the commission is uh, reconstituted immediately. Uh, it is better than referring it to any committee or ad hoc committee. It will only cause delay. Mr. President, the people that are hosting the dams have suffered a lot. The Senate recalls that the sum of 354 million. After them discuss on top of the matter finished, Senate come ginger their committee on top legislative compliance. Say make them touch light why Hypertech never still start and make them still know where BC all the money where BC them budget for the commission they enter. Our system to work will still allow our committee or legislative compliance to undertake 
the investigation because we need to establish what happened. But we will also uh, intervene. That one is informal. But I think it's, it's empowering our committee to carry out an assignment that is clearly its own to, to do. So the Committee on Legislative Compliance, I'm, I'm sure this will be your first uh, test and outing, and you will have a lot of engagement uh, with the Office of the Secretary to Government of the Federation because most of these things take off from there, or they don't. So you, you still have to, to do your work, but we'll talk to, uh, to those in authority from the sidelines. Thank you very much, distinguished colleagues. After the young finishing it now, Council Lubunge government, to make them sharply create the commission and make sure see them put money for them inside the 2020 budget. And we come out from inside that to re-enter the next one. Even the Abuja people now don't decry the tell FCT administration. Say make them change their mind, bring back Keken Pep where BC say them ban for inside Abuja city centers. Obonge government of FCT no agree at all at all. Them come talk, say, come the advice, say make them drive their keke only for areas where we say they approve for them. The authorities them now on Wednesday have been supervising keke we reach like 200 to relocate from city center to Kubwa with police escort. Our Tory person, John Emmanuel, now he gets more on top of this story. After the ban, when the Sama Kekenapep riders for some areas of Abuja, now so 200 of them can't find their way into Kubwa, will be one of the places where they approve for them to walk. The Kekenapep leaders join body, go meet the FCT minister, say, making help them with police escort so that they go escort them go Kubwa and the minister no disappoint them for this appeal where they make. Some officials of the Federal Capital Territory Administration get advice for these over 200 Kekenapep riders with Zoom and South Kubwa. My advice to them, they should always be a law-abiding citizen and uh, make sure that uh, they obtain necessary documents for their keke to operate peacefully. Especially, they should have a license that uh, covers them. To bring in the Kekena Pep into one of the areas where they are supposed to operate. Presently, we are in Kubwa. You know, there's a restriction that has started within the FCC. And Kuba is part of where they can operate. That's why we are here. Musa Ibrahim will be the leader of this Kekenapep riders. Talk so he will make sure say he members operate for Kuba according to the law. We assure him that we are going to work together and uh, we are going to work in synergy to make sure that we sanitize our boys, our members to work peacefully within the ambit of the law. Since we then ban Kekenapep for some areas of Abuja, People don't they cry, they give FCT minister about they can suffer with their IDC for transportation matter. So they should consider us as Nigeria. It's not all of us that have car. We are praying to have our own car. But this is the only little mobile things that we can use. So they're supposed to help us at least so that let this, uh, because we, 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 we that we are working as a uh, all this uh, company work that we are working, they are not paying us enough money and we will not get enough job for Abuja here. Some of them even they beg, say may them bring back Kekena pay people because of how they make transportation they easy for them within the city. This now, John Emmanuel for Wazobia Max TV. And for inside the next story where we carry come, International Center for Investigative Reporting, that's now ICIR. They don't tell Ogunge government now. See, they create a register for people who don't lost since Boko Haram Wahala starts for inside the Northeast so that their loved ones now go know what in them they do. During the roundtable meeting for Inside Abuja on Wednesday, where we say the title now, Justice for Missing Persons in Northeast, the executive director of ICI, Arabi Dayo Ayetan, you know, too happy about how army people just they arrested young men anyhow, where we say they're facing a Boko Haram people now in them be. Our Tory person will be Francis Onoja, still gets more on top of this story. 
the executive director of International Center for Investigative Reporting, Dayo Ayeton, Yan say them here are much rumors say Nigerian soldiers where they fight Boko around for Northeast Niger, they arrest young men anyhow. They say, for example, if bomb blow boy for any Ogba inside Borno State, soldiers go just enter the place, arrest anybody where they see. Meanwhile, some of these men, they very, very innocent. Mr. Ayeton still Yan say Nahim I see. IR come decide to go investigation the matter for Borno State. Then come discover say plenty men done they miss for up to six, seven, or even ten years. In Kong Yan say make government sharply create missing persons register for Northeast so that the wives, the children, and even the parents of these men go know whether they don't buy or they still they alive so that life go still move on for them. There are thousands of family in the northeast where they suffer because of say they it's, it's not just that um say military soldiers arrest some people nobody know what happened to them the bomb go land for their house like this you know in communities people go just run away some to chad to Niger and all that nobody know what happened to them the government gets responsibility under international conventions to account for every citizen. If the citizens are missing, you must provide information. One Sabi woman where her name na Hamsatu Alamin and na she be the organ madam of Alamin Foundation for Peace and Development, where they for Borno State talk something when of his sweet belle at all at all. They started indiscriminate arrest of all young men in that city at that particular time. If you are a male, particularly a Muslim, and then Kanuri by tribe in that part of the country, automatically you are branded a word for Haram. And then when, and sometimes you may not even blame the military because they don't know who a Boko Haram is. My fellow women are becoming frustrated. In fact, uh, some of them have even gone to be radicalized because of these atrocities. So what I want the government, from the government is, government's responsibility primarily is to take care of the safety and security of everyone. I want the government to make its security agencies to declare how many people have they arrested since this conflict started and then detain them in their military detention parties. One of Bonga senator where follow carry the matter for head and uh, him be the senator where they represent the good people of Borno South. Senator Ali Ndume shock everybody when him talk say now nah, only God fit tell Nigerians and even the whole world how many people were done they lost for Northeast Niger. What we are doing now is not only even to account for the missing persons. But justice for the missing persons is number one. You go remember, say this matter of missing persons for not is this international committee of Red Cross don't carry the matter. Come out, say over 22,000 people they miss for that side. Until today, government never do anything about them. This round table meeting where International Center for Investigative Reporting organized so far, the story we we'll hear from among the women in no sweet belly at all. The women where they are affected, they call on government to let them know the whereabouts of their loved ones, whether they don't die or whether they still there alive, so that life go move on for them. Because according to them, some of them won't still remarry and some of them won't move on with their lives, but they don't know the situation and whereabouts of their children. So then they call on government, say, make it let them, make government let them know the whereabouts of their people, so that life goes smooth for them. My name now, Francis Onoja. I the report for Wazobia Max Television. And for inside another story, for the senator where we say they represent FCT, that's now Philip Aduda. He don't call on the Bunge government now on top of security problem where we say country they face. Say so it will make sense now to bring new ideas where we say they go use fire security wahala for inside the country. Senator Aduda make this call on Wednesday when in the yearn for one peace building and conflict resolution campaign where we say now the Nigerian film operation organized them for inside Abuja. 
Aduda Kony Yan say the program happened so that it go open door now for security problem to sharply end so that peace now go day for inside the FCT. The senator come the war with sake of how kidnapping they increase for inside the FCT. He come they tell security join body then say make them do everything within their power to make sure say all the security wahala for the country go end. For the kidnappers, they do not have any place in our society. For anybody who can hold anybody to ransom, I don't think you understand what it means to have freedom. If you do not understand, try locking up this door now and say that everybody will not go out here as free as we are standing here and as happy as we are will be apprehensive. So it is unacceptable. They do not have a place in this society. It's a free society where everybody is to prohibit as God desires and God wants. So for anybody to now think that he is God, because that is what the person has done, to now limit somebody's movement and limit somebody's uh, fundamental human rights and freedom, I think it's unacceptable. And still as they yarn on top of the program, managing director of Nigeria Film Corporation will be Chidia Madwekwe. He talks say peace building now will bring development and provide window for direct foreign investment inside the country. He can ask for a better collabo as another strategy to deal with everything where we say they disturb peace for the country. That has been appropriated by National Assembly for film production and documentary to encourage Nigerian filmmakers, partner with Nigerian filmmakers across the divide so that we may produce films that will tell our stories in a manner that unites us as a country rather than a manner that divides us because there are so many things that unite us that makes us to be, should rather be a peaceful country than a, a country where you will find uh, unrest and destabilization. And we come out from inside that to re-enter another one. Appeal court now for inside Abuja on Thursday don't confirm the election of Samuel Autumn as governor of Benue State, just as they dismiss the matter where Emmanuel Jimmy will be APC candidate for the last governorship election for inside Benue State, Benkari Com, where they challenge the result. Appeal court contest Jimmy and in party will be APC, say make he go sharply pay Governor Autumn. 150,000 Naira compensation money. Make we remember one time, it's a Benin State Election Petition Tribunal for 7th October 2019, being declared Samuel Lotum as a person where BC win the election. Uh, if you had followed the proceedings uh, from the tribunal, you'll see that as we contended, this is a matter that the appellant case suffered from deficiency of evidence, both in quantity and in quality. So they were unable to establish their case, and that is the waterloo of their matter. We, we honestly did not expect anything different, because the appellants called a total of 59 witnesses, only 31 were polling unit witnesses, and out of the 31, more than half of them uh, disowned uh, the statements and disowned the results, and they were complaining in over 400 polling units. A literal jurisprudence has said to them that you must call a witness per each polling unit, and they called only 31 who did not go anywhere. So uh, we didn't expect a different result. We commend the Court of Appeal for delivering justice as it ought to be, or, or as it ought to have been delivered. And still on top of the matter, appeal courts being dismissed the cross appeal where BC Autumn bring come award 250,000 naira against them. Some PDP politicians and way show face for inside the courts will hear the matter. They can't they hail the judgment. I feel happy and I feel good. Uh, this has got to confirm uh, the decision of the people of Benue State. And we are happy and we give glory to God. Why well, they should come and join hand with the governor so that we can move the state forward? I yes, very judgment. The court has done it again. The court has also given another another point in time. The court has given hope to the ordinary man. Despite the power that might be, the court is there standing strong for an ordinary person in Nigeria. It has done it again. The court has, has upheld the the mandate that was given to our governor Samuel Otom. My country people, will they come back with business and sports story? No, go anywhere. And for inside business, 
the House of Representatives don't pass the Finance Bill 20, 2019, where President Muhammadu Buhari been submit. The members were busy day for Thursday meeting, passed the bill one week after it passed through the third reading for inside the Senate. The bill won't change the six tax provision where BC make where BC they won't make it then they will with a reform tax reform policies them. Apart from the worries where some country people been get for the tax where BC increase on top some particular goods and services from 5% to 7.5%. The bill also amended the tax provision of Custom and Excise Traffic Act to encourage local manufacturers. This one and they introduce better things where B say they come with tax for investment inside infrastructure, capital markets, and uh, to support small business them. And when they come back with sports, still they where you doing. And for inside sport, former Super Eagles player, that's now Emmanuel Amunike, he don't apply now for work for Zambia national team, uh, the Chipolo Polo, as their head coach. Amunike now pass where BC scored the two goals where the Super Eagles take win Chipolo Polo 2-1 for the final of 1994 African Cup of Nations, and him last managed the Tefa Stars of Tanzania. He been come out when the Tefa Stars come out from the 2010 Africa Cup of Nations for Egypt, where they lose all their three group games. The former Barcelona player still guide Nigeria under-17 team and Golden Eaglet to win the FIFA under-17 World Cup for Chile inside 2015. Now all the Tori them be this as it take happen, but before we go, maybe we still look at our top Tori them again for this afternoon. President Buhari done open strategy for digital economy. And the Senate now they ask why hyperdeck never still start work. ICIR done tax Obunge government to open register for people with on laws for inside northeast. An appeal court now don't confirm say na Governor Autumn now win the governorship election for inside Benue State. Now all the Tory then be this as it take happen and make you no forgetting our Wazobia Max TV now we day inside. My name now Adate Owunke. Una good afternoon. To enjoy more of this our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.